now I'm just going to no. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Eat Feel Live. If this is your first time joining me, my name is MK. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the little subscribe button down below and the bell so that way you can get notifications anytime I post a new video. Today I want to talk to you guys about how the heck I fit everything in my backpack. This is not going to be a guide on what to pack, although you will be seeing what I pack throughout the video. I have a list on my blog. It's called the Ultimate Backpacking Packing List and I'll put it in the description below. I'm also going to be posting a different video for what goes in my carry-on and I have a blog post on that as well. So stay tuned for the next video on what goes in my carry-on. Before we get started, I just want to show you guys my shirt. It says Eat, Feel, Live. I bought these for my family um, and they came out really good. I'm super happy with them. I'm going to be putting these shirts up on my blog soon for people to purchase and I've been playing around with different designs um, and crop tops and long sleeves and things like that. So stay tuned for that. I'm very excited because I really like how they came out. First, let's get started with what I pack in. So this is my backpack. This is High Sierra 55 liter Explorer backpack. Um, you can see it's got a lot of different compartments and things. Um, this is on my recommended products. You can check them out if you go to my blog and press shop. It's under there and I'll also put the link in the description below. But this is my High Sierra. I use this when I backpack through Australia and Jamaica and now I'm taking it to Europe and hopefully I get over to Asia too. So that's what I pack everything in but within my pack I have a few different things so let me show you what those are. So first off I have my bra, underwear, socks, bathing suits, um, I have a belt in here. That all fits in here. I don't do anything fancy with this, I really just shove everything in here and it fits pretty well. This is what I'm packing for shirts plus this t-shirt dress will go in that packing cube as well. So this is the packing cube, this one's a little bit bigger than the bra and underwear one. So the best way to pack is to roll everything. So you want to start with the bigger items and roll those first and kind of fit them in. It's almost like a jigsaw puzzle. So you're going to fit them into the bottom of the packing cube. So I have this big t-shirt. So I'm going to fold it in like thirds and then roll it. And just tuck it right into the corner. And then I'm going to keep going with my bigger items first and roll those all. So as you can see, I have two shirts in here that I started rolling and I'm going to keep filling it up with the rolled shirts. So I pretty much fit everything that I can roll in here in the bottom. So now I'm going to do another layer with thinner shirts. I'm going to try to fit them in between the ones that I already rolled. So once I run out of room for like the rolled shirts, it kind of becomes like a jigsaw puzzle. I'm going to start folding them and putting them on top and kind of tucking them into the different corners. all my shirts into the packing cube. I'll show you how I did it. So after I rolled them, I just folded them and tucked what I could in on top. And now I'm just going to add a sweater on top. So I have this long sweater and I'm just going to fold it and again, tuck it into all the corners of on top of the rest of the clothes. So here is the sweater now tucked on top. You can't even see the shirts anymore. And that is it for my shirt cube. The same thing for the shirts I do with the pants. Roll, 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 and then jigsaw puzzle. So start with like the thickest, biggest pair of the pants. That's my jeans. And I'm just gonna roll them and again, fit them into the bottom of the packing cube. Here are all the pants so far. I still have one pair of sweatpants and 
the pants I'm wearing now I have to fit in there and then a pair of shorts. So I'm just gonna place the shorts on top and the sweatpants on top and then the ones that I'm wearing now I will tuck in over everything. So that is my pants cube. All done. So this is all my clothes in three packing cubes. It looks like a lot more than it looks like in person, like on the camera. But I'm gonna show you guys how I fit them into my backpack now. So start with your biggest packing cube. We're gonna stick that in first. And I just stick it in the main part and just squeeze it in there. And then there's gonna be a little room at the bottom where your shirt probably will not fit, or at least that's how it always happens for me. So I'm going to stick a pair of shoes down there to hold the space. Ow, I just punched myself in the face. So I put my biggest packing cube in the biggest part of my backpack and I stuck a pair of shoes down at the bottom. And then I'm gonna stick my shirts, the medium size packing cube on top of that, like next to it. Um, it's kind of tricky to fit, so yeah. So I have my pants packing cube and my shirts packing cube, and now I'm just gonna stick my bra and underwear and everything on top of that. And then you're gonna have a little room up here. So I have an extra flannel that I'm just gonna shove into that space there. This is the main compartment. It just has all my clothes in it. Um, and that's the hardest part to pack. So let me show you guys the few other things that I have to fit in here. My pack also has this spot back here. And that is where I'm going to put my quick dry towel, my fanny pack, my straightener, my handheld spiralizer, and my down jacket that fits into this little bag. Now I have this pocket on the bottom that I'm going to fill. So I'm gonna put my electronics down here. This pocket's also good to put um, any stuff that it needs to be locked because the top part does not lock, but I do have a pack safe. So I'm putting my GoPro and chargers and everything down there, my booties, and my rain jacket. I have more space down here in case I need to fit anything else. Some of my toiletries will be going in my carry-on, some of them will be going in here. So I might stick them in that top compartment or I might stick them in the bottom. And then I am bringing this bomber jacket, but it's not very warm, so I wear this underneath. So what I'm gonna do is just stick my black sweater inside my bomber jacket. I originally was gonna bring a leather jacket too, but it was getting too heavy. But if you have more than one jacket, just literally put them inside each other and it's easier to pack. So I'm just sticking this jacket into the other one. So after you get your jackets together, the easiest place to pack them is in the front of your pack. And by that, I mean in this part. So you can literally just fold it up and, hold on, please hold, and slide it in here. Like so. And then just tighten the straps, obviously, so it doesn't fall out. Okay, so this is my backpack. It's all packed. I've got my jacket on the outside, my tins, my clothes are in the main pocket. All my like miscellaneous stuff is on the top, electronics on the bottom, and some shoes on the bottom. And my toiletry bag will be in here, so this will be a little bit higher up. You can adjust the straps on here. So that's how I do it. And let me stick this on quick. <laughs> this is my backpack. Here. I have packed this backpack like three times before doing this video just to make sure everything keeps fitting right, no matter how I put it in. Um, and that's a lot of what packing is. It's kind of just playing around with everything and making sure that you could get it in and out. So that is how the heck I fit everything in my backpack. Like I said, I still just have to add my toiletries on the top, but other than that, everything is in there. The hardest part is just fitting your clothes into the biggest compartment. 
but if you have the packing cubes it's really good to stay organized with them and other than that it's just kind of fitting everything where it will fit so if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and click the little bell button so you get notifications next time i post a video see you guys later bye